Howdy friends, Matt Hillier out here at the Cadillac Barn once again, hanging out with friends, catching up on old business and new. Today we have our good friend Josh Fleming from the, the world famous Vandaliers here and uh, catching up. It's been a while, we've been trying to get together on this for quite some time. Yeah, about a year. Yeah, but you're a busy dude and so are, we're busy dudes also. Yeah. Uh, so I'm glad you made some time to come out here oh, and, and do this. I love and it. I also want to say thanks again for coming out to Hank's recently and that was sitting a blast. on some tunes, man. I know, that was great. A whole lot of fun, man. Uh, we've been knowing each other for a while and it's just been really cool in the last few years to really see everything that you've been doing just sort of exploding and taking off the way that it has been. It's so, weird. Yeah. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's it's totally cool. Yeah. And now you have have released your third album and uh, I mean Tell us all about it. Tell us where you recorded it, like how long it took took to get together, where the where the, the words of the music came first for the, the song. <laughs> Was it the punk rock or the country right. that came first? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we got we were on State Fair Records for yeah. our last two records, which is a local Dallas label and I mm -hmm. love them to death. And um, around the end of our contract, Bloodshot Records from Chicago mm -hmm. came calling and um, they asked us to do a uh, South by Southwest showcase and in pure cliche fashion uh we right. did the showcase and then they took us out to dinner wine and dined us and then they had plopped a contract on the table proverbially that's awesome so it was really great and um so we signed to bloodshot records out of chicago and they've done like old nine sevens alejandro escovedo ryan adams nico case they've done legendary shack shakers all oh, yeah. of our favorite bands essentially yeah. um so we had the task of making a new record um I'm really good friends with Rhett Miller, as yeah. are you. Yeah. And so he was like, you should write like 40 songs. So I wrote 50. And mm -hmm. then uh, he kind of helped me kind of pick and choose some of the best songs and all that stuff. And then kind of helped me put together one of one of my songs, which had to do with like depression, anxiety, and all that stuff. And both him and I thought that that was a really big issue that mm -hmm. needed to be talked about. So uh, we worked on that. So that was really cool working with Rhett. Um, it came out February 22nd. Instantly started touring. I'll be touring for the next two years and yeah. forever until I write another one. Um, it's been great. Uh, going to Europe for the first time. I'm playing Canada for the first time. Uh, Where in Europe are you heading to? I don't know yet. We just got an agent at our neck at the this last South by. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Um, South by Southwest has been really good to Vandaliers. That's awesome. It's been really random. That's cool. So yeah, uh, we're working with Sedate Booking out there and a little insider baseball that no one cares about. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm ready to go over there. It's going to be really great. So we're either going to finish the year in Europe or start the next year in Europe. Um, and then we're going out with all the Bloodshot bands. Like I'm about to go out West Coast with Corey Brannon. Um, just having a really good time with it. It's yeah. been really cool. The songs came out great. We went to Memphis for a week to record this time. We worked with uh, Adam Hill. He did Deer Tick and Loka Connie, which are these really weird alt Americana bands right. and stuff. Um, I just need to get out of town for a second, get away from the distraction. I've never traveled to record before because I've never really had the budget to yeah. do that. Um, and so we went out to Memphis. Uh, beer's cheap, food's great. Had a great time. Um, we met these really sweet people named Kate and Bill at mm -hmm. the Music Mansion, which is this like big mansion where it's like a hostel for bands. Like, right. And we found out about it through the Lucero guys and the Drive By Trucker dudes, and it's been it was amazing. It was the coolest experience yeah. ever. And so we spent a week there and knocked it out and tried not to overdub too much and just tried to, you know, be a band in a giant room and it was really, really cool. Man, that's cool. I loved it. Well, so uh, you heard him. He's got, they got a new agent. They're going to be on the road pretty much indefinitely. Yeah. They're going to just live and die by the road, which is kind of what a lot of us do. Yeah, that's the only way to make money. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. So check him out. Uh, just plug the website. Uh, Vandaliers.com. I made yeah. a word. If you, just, if you spell it right, you'll find us. Mm -hmm. It, well, that's that's the real if, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, well, all right, so we're going to get him to do a song for us. So uh, like and share. Josh Fleming, check out the Vandaliers.com. Yeah? yeah? There you go. Appreciate you. So I wrote the song with John Pettigo and Arliss Albritton. Uh, we were in Nashville, and at that point in time, I was smoking cigarettes, and I was out in the rain, and Arliss thought it was pretty futile. Um, Arliss is a really personal dude. He kind of dived into some of my past relationships and heartaches and stuff like that shit everybody's been through but um you know no one really asked me those hard questions so we just started writing the song and you know fuck, 15 minutes later we were done with it so uh this one's called cigarettes in the rain Yes, 
she strikes me like a match When she comes around that her fast Acting like my world hasn't changed It's like smoking cigarettes in the rain Smoking cigarettes in the rain. It's like smoking cigarettes in the rain. It's like smoking cigarettes in the rain.